everybody, I'm Brittany Lewis. I am right now in Cincinnati at the Forbes Under 30 Summit. I'm with Danny Austin, internet personality and founder of Divi. So to start off the conversation, explain what Divi is. Sure. Divi is a hair health and scalp health brand that I actually started after my own hair loss journey. In 2019, I lost almost all my own hair, um, decided to go into wigs for that year. And during that transition, just spent so many hours reading about why is this happening, kind of getting to the root of my hair loss, um, putting together scalp serums in my bathroom, and then finally connected with a chemist because through sharing all my struggles online, I found that there was kind of this hidden epidemic of women that were going through something similar. So connected with the chemist and came out with our first hero product, which is our scalp serum. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go from next. What was missing from the industry? Do you think that you had to fill that gap? Because coming from personal experience, I mean, um, how did you figure out what was missing and how did you connect the dots there? Sure, this was before, I don't know if you've heard of the skinification of scalp, but this was before anyone was really taking care of their scalp. And we all know that hair, hair growth starts at the root and taking care of your scalp is so important. And so, um, yeah, I think we kind of really revolutionized like that uh, sector of, of the hair healthy hair space and then also just making sure we were using clean ingredients because there were so many products out there that yes maybe you saw temporary success with hair growth but it was messing with hormones or was messing with systems in your body and so our scalp serum is so clean you can actually use it while you're pregnant <laughs> well um Let's talk about how you stand out in the competition because obviously you found the need for this because you were looking. So how did you set? How did you uh, stand out? Because as we know, the hair market is saturated. Sure. I think what makes Divi really special is that this product was driven by my community. Um, I was able to connect with so many women that were struggling with something similar, and I have just listened to their their struggles. And whether it is hair loss or hair breakage or hair frizz, whatever it is, I'm able to listen to them and grow with them. And they're always kind of giving me feedback of what works and what doesn't. And it's just been really special to see that community grow. Talk about your community a little bit because you have a massive following, multi-million following. So how did they help grow your business at such an uh, incredible rate? I'll tell you the craziest story. When we first launched our scalp serum, we ended up selling 40 million in the first year. And I attributed to, I mean, less than 10 to 15% of those sales. And the reason why was because of our community, because people took it upon themselves to be posting the before and afters and to share those before and afters online or share a product with their neighbor or their mother that was struggling with something similar or uh, whether it was like a hairstylist that saw amazing results using the Diddy Scalp Serum. So everything we've really done has been driven by our community. A lot of women can relate with hair loss and that's really vulnerable to be posting that type of challenge on social media. So have you ever found it challenging to be posting your struggles so publicly while also maintaining a business persona? For the first year, or for sorry, for the first month that I wore wigs, I actually did not tell anyone. I went on a family trip and my wigs looked so real that no one knew. And it's because I was really scared of what people were gonna think. And I didn't know anything about wigs. I didn't know the first thing of how to style them. So I was definitely scared. But what I found is once I finally opened up to my audience, that's where true the true magic honestly happens. That's where I feel like I'm able to make a difference is when I'm honest and I tell my audience, hey, I'm not perfect either and I'm figuring it out and I'm a mom and I'm stressed out and I'm, I have these insecurities probably just like you do. And honestly, I think that kind of adds to the heart and longevity of my brand as well. And do you um, relate or how can you build your audience so authentically? How do you do that? What's your secret sauce? Just be yourself, honestly. I, I actually have this rule whenever I'm filming stories. I say only film once. If you get to in your head and you worry so much about what people think about you, then you're just not going to be yourself. So I film one story once. If I stutter, if I mess up, that's okay. That's real. That's relatable. We all make mistakes. None of us are perfect. Um, so I just I try to show up daily, whether I'm in you know t-shirt with no pants or dressed up like this, going to Forbes. <laughs> We've got a lot of creators out there. We've got a lot of entrepreneurs. What is your advice to those who want to find that intersection, that sweet spot? of being a creator as well as starting their own business. My biggest advice to other creators that are trying to start their business is to focus on longevity and focus on building something outside of yourself because it's really easy to get one product that takes off, but what about in five years? Is, are you creating a legacy? Are you creating a brand that's really gonna speak for itself without you? And so that really, for me, 
came down to the efficacy and uh, how well our products worked. And so we have an in-house team of female scientists that are genius, and they are creating products that are so far beyond my knowledge and you know expertise. And so that's why I know that Divi's going to be around for a long time. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.